Hello, boys and girls and families. This is our last virtual learning art lesson for the school year. And then it's on to summer break and hopefully we'll be able to see one another again in the fall. That is my hope and my wish because I miss you all so much. I have another fun game for you and I'm going to play it with my husband, Jay, and my son, Simon, to show you how to do it. First, let me show you how to set it up. Here we go. Okay, everybody, to play this game, you're gonna need a pencil for everybody that wants to play the game, or you could really play this by yourself. That would be just fine. And then of course, you're gonna need some paper. A scissors is helpful, but you could tear the paper into smaller pieces. And then markers would be optional as well. So what I did is I took my paper and my scissors and I cut it into smaller pieces about like this. And again, if you didn't have a scissors that you could use at home, I mean, my goodness, right? You can just tear this into smaller pieces because what you're going to need to do on these smaller, of, smaller pieces of paper is you're going to need to write words. So let me show you what I have here. In this bowl, I wrote down like either animals or let's see, that one says cat. This one says alien this one is a turtle it's like a person place or thing in here not sure if you're learning about nouns yet but that's what that would be in there a person place or thing in this in this dish if you don't have a dish just put it in piles of paper this second bowl and I wrote it in different colors just to keep it organized these are things that are like a little bit smaller also some these aren't people but these are maybe things or objects so also nouns, but um, but not a person. A sandwich. You can write anything you want in these. A pizza. I guess I have some foods in here. You could do all foods if you wanted to. Oh my gosh, I guess I did. Banana. Let's see if I have anything that's not a food. A tennis racket. So that's not a food. So like like smaller objects in this one. Food. Sporting equipment pencils, markers, something like that. And you could make up your own categories as well. In this dish, then I've put in green, places outside, a garden, a swimming pool, a cloud, and so on. So just different things that are outside. You could literally make these dishes have anything you, any categories you want. You could have a whole food category. You could do animals. You could do foods. And you could do places, if that makes it easier. You could also mix them up. But the idea is that you're going to pick one from each dish, and then you're going to draw a picture. So, for example, let's pretend I'm going to pick this one. I got cat. I'm going to pick one from here. I got boots and garden. So the three I got are cat, boots, garden. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw a picture that includes these three ideas. This is a great way for you to stretch your imagination to think about how to combine different things, maybe even to make something really silly. And I'm gonna play this with um, my son and my husband, Jay, just to kind of see what they come up with as well. And of course, they'll pick something different. I'll tell you what, I'll put this list of items on my on my lesson so that you have these as an idea if you feel like you just like to use these and not come up with your own. So I'll do that for you, but certainly you could use your own ideas. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to have um, Simon and Jay come in and then we'll get started with our drawings. I wanted to mention that to modify this game and make it a little easier, you could just whisper three things into the person's ear um, that you're playing with. So I could have whispered into Jay's ear, hey Jay, um, cat, fan, car. And then he would have had to make a drawing with a cat, a fan, and a car. So if you'd rather not write all of this out, that's a way that you could still play the game in a more simplified way. On the other hand, if you do write all of these out, it's something that you can go back to and play, you know, time after time because there's so many possible outcomes with the different categories. So a simpler way to do that would be just then to whisper into someone's ear or to just tell them, I'd like you to include a marker, a TV, and a skateboard.
Okay, but boys and girls, so of course you could do this by yourself if you wished, but it, I think it'll be fun to compare the drawings. So everybody's going to take turns picking one from each of the dishes. Simon, you go ahead and pick your first one from the first dish. Don't peek at it yet and don't show me. I'll pick one. Jay, you pick one. Don't, don't look at it yet and don't show each other so it's a surprise. Okay, Simon, go ahead and pick one from the middle dish. I'm going to dig down here and pick this one. Okay, Jay, go ahead and pick one. Don't show, don't open, keep it a surprise. And then Simon, go ahead and pick one from the last dish. Jay, go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna get these out of the way. In a moment, I'll have everybody take a look at what they have inside. And then we're gonna go off into our own little areas in the house and draw. And then we'll come back and show you what we came up with. Let it be silly. All right, we're back. So I picked rainbow, robot, and pumpkin. So I drew a robot with an upside down rainbow mouth and then he's lifting pumpkins for weight and these are his muscles because he's like weight lifting with pumpkins. Um, and then I drew all the different robot parts. So that's how I combined rainbow, robot, and pumpkin. And of course there's a million other ways. Jay's, can, Jay, can you slide yours in here and show us what words you picked? <laughs> I picked pig, boots, and cloud. So tell us about your drawing. So my pig just got this brand new pair of boots and he's really excited about it. So he put his vest and his hat on and he's outside in the sun and the clouds. Perfect, awesome combination. All right, Simon, let's see yours. Okay, what did you get? I got garden, tennis racket, and turtle. Okay, so uh, what do you so have here? I'm gonna pull this up a little bit. A turtle uh, with a attached tennis racket playing <laughs> tennis with a uh, flower uh, that is made of tennis rackets. Fantastic. That is great. Simon is our best cartoonist in this house, as you can tell. Um, so I will put the list of um, things that we used for our dishes, our pieces of paper, but so, certainly you could do your own. That would be fine. Have fun with this. This is a great way to be creative. Think about um, combining different things, like making petals that are tennis rackets. Um, and then also just to get your imagination flowing and to share ideas with your family when you draw. Or like I said, this would be a fine one to do on your own. The kids at Prairie View really like this um, one in the art room for free draw art. So second graders, you can do this next year at Prairie View. Thanks everybody. Before I go, I just wanted to give a huge thank you to all of you kids, you wonderful artists and your families and your parents and your grandmas and your aunties and your cousins and your older brothers and sisters and younger brothers and sisters, your participation during virtual learning. You made my day. You made me happy. You made me smile. And that's the wonderful thing about what art can do for everybody, especially in a time like this that's so strange and something that we've never done. So I encourage you to do more art this summer. I can't wait to see you again in the art classroom. And I just wish you all of the very best for a fun, healthy summer. I'll miss you guys. Bye.